Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you all the products that came with the Clear Jelly Stamper Autumn Box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. So first, I'm gonna start showing you the polishes. First, we have this polish kit called Wild and Free, and it has four different shades. The first one is this purple one, number 144. Then we have a lime green, uh, 145. This electric blue, 146. And this pumpkin orange, 147. We also got five extra polishes. So this is an orange with shimmer on it, 150. This is like a brown burgundy color, 148. This is a, like a brown color, 197. And this is a teal color, 187. I also found like this should be glow, I guess, and it glows under black light. Now moving on to the stamping plates, uh, I received two small stamping plates. The first one is a little bit more autumn theme. This is the number 247. You can find it still on the website and it has like a step-by-step -step guide uh, at the back of this sheet and so you can replicate the looks. And it also has this translucent sheet, so you can actually put it on top of your nail and see if the design matches or if it's gonna fit on your nail. I found that it's a genius idea. Uh, it came with uh, two uh, protective films. It's blue, so you can detect it easily. And here's what it looks like, and you have all the steps to do layer stamping or normal stamping. Then we have this Halloween plate. This is uh, H73. And you also have at the back how to recreate some of the looks that they show you. And this is how the, the plate looks like. Then I got two large plates. Um, the first plate, it has like geometrical, uh, circular. It's kind of like, I don't know how to define it, honestly. But it's, it's pretty nice. And at the back, you also have the steps to do this layer stamping. This is like a more complicated plate, I think. And you also have the translucent sheet just to uh, try on the designs first on your nail. The other plate is H68, and this is more for Thanksgiving. You have turkey, you have fall designs too, some leaves, uh, some veggies, pumpkins. And this turkey, for example, is made to be done in three nails. So um, it, it looks pretty promising. That That's a... A new idea, I've never seen that before. So it looks super nice. Now moving on to the accessories. Uh, first, I got this apron. Honestly, I don't use this much to do nail art, but maybe I should because sometimes I make a mess. <laughs> uh, then we have the cosmetic organizer. This is so convenient. Um, it has three compartments, so you could put your stampers, your scrapers, uh, cotton balls, so everything that um, sometimes is just all over the place. Uh, then we have a small plate holder, so this is super convenient. I received two of these plates, but you can put them here. I think it also fits uh, cats' um, plates if you have. Then we have the crystal double stamper. And it comes with this scraper. It's pretty flexible. And it's like a double side uh, stamper. You have a smaller uh, head. And on the other side, you had a little bigger. But it's not an XL. It's still small. Uh, then you have sticky pad. So this is kind of like the same um, concept of lean roller. But it's just flat. So I think it's easier to work with. And then you have a set of uh, three scrapers. So are the same designs as the first one. And also we have some charms. These are iridescent uh, butterflies. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but they look super nice. Then we have some cuticle oil, um, the Pretty in Pink brush. This is a double side brush. It has the thin size for detail nail art and the other side is for cleanup. Then we have a maple candy and then we have some instructions on how to stamp. Now, of course, I'm going to show you how they stamp. So I'm going to do a stamping test. I forgot to tell you before that you can dismount this stamper so you can work with the bigger head or with the smaller part. And the, the part at the back, you can put it either on the bigger one or on the other one. Super convenient. So I'm going to take the first sheet off. 
this is kind of like a protective sheet so you can put it back after you finish and we're gonna test if this stamp so of course this is a new brand for me It's the first time that i tried their products so i think it still takes a little bit of uh, time to get adjusted to the products to the scraper to the um, type of polish um so i'm just this is the first time that i'm trying it on so if you see any patchiness or some parts that didn't transfer very well probably it's just because of application so um, the only one that we're struggling to see is the lime green. It is very light, so probably if you test it over black. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna show. Um, I didn't try it, but it looks super nice still. So all the other colors are a little bit darker, so I didn't have any issues in the stamping part. This one, the glow, I try as a stamp it, but it's very granular. So it was hard to work with and it didn't transfer very well. So here's a close up of all the stamping tests. As you see, the darker colors didn't have any issues transferring except for the lime green color that is still pretty um, invisible in this uh, white background. All the rest, it worked out pretty good. The stamping polishes are very easy to work with. The brush though is a little bit small, so you need like more brushes to fill the plate. And here I try it under UV light and actually the lime green shows up now. <laughs> and this is the part, the glow one. Uh, so as you see, it glows a lot under black light, but I didn't get it to transfer into stamping. I think it's because you feel like some grains. So um, I couldn't scrape it out properly. Um, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with all the products. I think the stamping polishes, the plates, and the stampers are pretty good. And I love this sticky pad so you can put back the first sheet and it will look awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!